close. All That's right. Good. In my opinion, Aaron Rodgers, when you throw out the footwork, the awareness, the ability to improvise, the accuracy, the quickness, the velocity, the touch, the mind, he does more things great than anybody in the history of the NFL. I actually think, forget about championships and stats, right. he's the best quarterback I've ever seen play. Uh, you know, well, first of all, you know I love you because you're never afraid to throw your opinion out there. Well, I think we're both a little like that. Uh, BT, I uh, can't agree more. Uh, I really am there with you. Aaron Rodgers, uh, in my opinion, just from the physical attributes, uh, I think is probably one of the three most talented quarterbacks in the history of football. Uh, you know, I would say him, John Elway, you know, then maybe uh, Brett Favre or Roger Staubach come into that conversation. Uh, but, yes, there is really no weakness to the guy's game. He, in my opinion, is one of the five greatest quarterbacks of all time already. I don't care if he ever, never wins a Super Bowl again. Uh, so much of what he does is predicated on his physical talent. So much of the success of that team is predicated on their physical talent. And I know that sometimes I hear people say, oh, well, he's got all these weapons around him. Well, you know, what weapons? Jordy Nelson's hurt. Randall Cobb. You, you mean James Jones? Are they talking about James Jones who was rejected by four different teams and then he comes back there and looks awesome mm -hmm. he looks awesome because he's with Aaron Rodgers but all you got to do is watch games you know uh, of course hey Tom Brady is really good we know that certainly one of the all-time greats but watch a game with Tom Brady most of the time he gets a, he gets the snap and the shotgun the first guy he looks at is usually open and he throws the ball which is great game planning by offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels and I'm not trying to take anything away from Tom but I'm just going to make this point mm -hmm. when you watch an Aaron Rodgers football game uh, first of all, the Green Bay offense is very simple as far as the NFL is concerned. Uh, they're not tricking anybody with their pass game schematics. Uh, it is really, you know, you see it. It's him dropping back. Oh, nobody's open. Let me hop around the pocket for seven seconds and stay in a throwing position and dodge the greatest pass rushers in football like Justin Houston, and then let me throw a 25-yard rifle through the tire hole. Uh, that, and he does it on a consistent basis from awkward positions, quick release, uh, certainly one of the three or four strongest arms in the history of football, but I totally agree with you there with that statement. I think he is the greatest quarterback I have ever seen. Uh, I am totally on that bandwagon, and I know my father, uh, other great quarterbacks, Troy Aikman I've talked to about all this, they all think Aaron Rodgers is one of the two, three most physically gifted quarterbacks in the history of the game. Well, well, listen, if my audience didn't believe me from a guy who just played a little, you know, college baseball, at least they'll appreciate your opinion. I'm happy you're with me on that because it's just so uh, – he's like a Jedi. He's playing a different game. He is. He's head and shoulders above anybody else in football right now. You know, one thing I always look at, you know, just little things, be reading between the lines. You know, remember when New England played – uh, New England played Green Bay last year. All the talk Bill Belichick gave about Aaron Rodgers before before the game leading up to it. Yep. Yeah. Bill Belichick doesn't throw high praise out there for anybody unless he just thinks you are such a nightmare to prepare for that that's when he will do it. And then if you remember after the game, he went and found Aaron Rodgers because he wanted to tell Aaron Rodgers how great he was. And Bill doesn't do that for anybody. He only does that for guys like Ed Reed in their prime or, a, you know, a Ray Lewis in their prime. But uh, I think that says a lot in itself. The guy is super talented, and I think you're right on with Aaron Rodgers' comment. We're talking to Chris Sims, a former NFL quarterback, played at Texas, of course, uh, Bleacher Report NFL analyst. He's on tops. He's doing games. And well, you've, you've had a chance to call a couple of Raider games, so I want to get your thoughts on that in a second. But I want to get just back to Brady for one minute. Obviously, Chris, we're in an era now where – there's a metric, there's a way of analyzing every physical movement. This I just came across, which I find pretty interesting. Right. Uh, his release, 81% uh, of the time this year, Brady's released the football within two and a half seconds, which is mind-numbing. So my question to you is, yeah. did he tweak his mechanics or are they shorter routes? Well, yeah, no, it's a lot of shorter routes, that, that's for sure. And that's something they've been doing up there in New England. And that was to my point of some of the great game planning they have yep. now. I think uh, a little bit week two, they played the Buffalo Bills. They threw a lot of quick throws, things like that, just to neutralize that great, great front four uh, in, 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 uh, in Buffalo. But, uh, yes, that is part of their offense. We saw that in the Super Bowl against Seattle. What did they do? They really just dink and dunked them and, and picked apart that short zone all game long. Uh, so, yes, but I do think he has improved his throwing mechanics. And, and I'll say this, too. Tom Brady, who's been one of the, uh, one of the worst down-the-field throwers in football the past few years statistically uh this year 
he has been throwing the ball, even when he, you know, I know it's not a lot like you said, but when he throws seams to Gronkowski or slant goes on the outside, uh, a much better thrower down the field this year. Tom Brady, I think, and I've been a guy that's been critical of him. I, I mean, I was one that last year didn't think he was still a top five quarterback in football. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, he is a top five quarterback in football. I'm not obsessed with stats. I'm obsessed with quality of play, quality of throws, throws that are making difference, a difference in the football game. I mean, Peyton Manning was statistically one of the five best quarterbacks in football last year, but I think we could all agree that he's not one of the five best quarterbacks anymore at this point in his career. But 